Hey, welcome to this video. And in this video, I want us to solve another past paper question on application of uh, differentiation. And we may say for our next exams, most three application of differentiation are on turning points and uh, uh, or the critical points and equation of tangents on normal. And mechanical uh, has several options, production and plant. We have already said that um, in my career guidance videos. I also do make career guidance videos. This is also the same paper that is done by automotive engineering group. It's also the same paper that is done by welding and fabrication group. And it's also the same paper that is done by construction plant engineering. So this for the entire of mechanical engineering uh, in general. So we have question 2B, this for here, year 2020, 2020. We have question 2B, which is a 2B you are told, use implicit differentiation, use implicit, implicit differentiation, To determine uh, to determine the equation of the tangent to determine the equation of the tangent to the curve to determine the equation of the tangent to the curve 2x squared plus y squared minus 4xy plus 6x minus 2y is equal to 3 at the point is equal to 3 at the point uh, one one at point one one that is x is square one and y is one so this one do not require to find the equation of the normal some some problem requires you to find the equation of the normal and equation of tangent this i also done another question on the same thing equation of normal and tangent if you have not watched the video watch it on the link shown here or in my video description here now let us differentiate this because we have to use implicit differentiation. We are going to differentiate with respect to x. 2x squared plus y squared. 2x squared plus y squared minus 4xy plus 6x plus 6x minus 2y is equal to 3. Let us differentiate that. We differentiate 2x, we get 4. 2x squared. We get 4x. If we differentiate y with respect to x, y squared with respect to x, it will be 2y dy dx. If we differentiate this, this one you have to use product rule. Minus into, let us, let 4x be your u, u v, so it will be u dv dx, dv dx you are differentiating y with respect to x so here you get dy dx plus u plus v which is y du dx differentiate from 4x you get 4 so that one you should say it's 4y 4y because when you differentiate 4x you get 4 uh, if I get 6x with respect to x here to be 1, no, to be 6, differentiate negative 2y to be negative 2dy dx, and when you differentiate 3, you get 3. So we take the one we, we do not have y dy dx on the other side and put the one with dy dx together. So here yeah, this one is 2y dy dx minus 4x here 
part the radiate minus two the radiate this one is equal to so you have taken care of that one that one and that one if you open this bracket this will be negative four y take it the other side of the equation to be positive four y you take four x the other side of the equation to be negative four x take six the other side of the equation to be negative six so we have taken care of that one that one and that one Now let us factor out dy dx, dy dx into 2y, this one, minus 4x, this one, minus 2, is equal to 4y minus 4x minus 6. Or dy dx, dy dx is equal to 4y minus 4x minus 6 all over. Uh, 2y minus 4x minus uh, minus 2. Oh, remember, this is also the gradient. The derivative of y with respect to x is also the gradient. So we want to get the equation of that, I don't know how it looks like, of that curve, of that normal, that may be at this point, 1, 1. Point y is equal to 1 and point x is equal to 1. Point 1, 1. That's what we want to do. So, we will substitute both y and x are equal to 1 in that equation. So, dy dx at point 1, comma 1 is equal to 4, 4 times 1 because y is 1 minus 4 times 1 because x is 1 minus 6 or over 2 uh, because one y is 1 minus 4 because x is 1 minus 2 so this is this is 0 this is negative 6 because these two are 0 over these two will give you 0 over negative 4 so it is 3 over 2 3 over 2. So because we want to find the, the equation of this tangent, if you take a general point, point x, y, then it means the gradient change in y over change in x, which we have just found, is 3 over 2. But how do we get change in y? We can say it is this general point minus this point 1, 1. y minus 1, or over x minus 1 is equal to 3 over 2. So 3 into y minus 1 is equal to 2 into x minus 1. This 3y minus 3 is equal to 2x minus 2. And we are the edge you You can bring 2x on the other side. So that you have 3y minus 2x is equal to this is negative 2 plus 3 is equal to 1. Or you can take the 2x the other side if you want. Or you can just leave it. Or you can put it in the form of y is equal to mx plus c. So there's no problem. Uh, whichever way you want to do the equation in. Sometimes it can be required to find the equation of the number to this point, to this line. This line that is 90 degrees to this. This is the number. It's also simple to get the equation of the normal. Maybe you can do that even if you are not required to do it. To get the equation of that normal, you say if the, the equation of the tangent or gradient of the tangent we call that one M. This one that we have just determined, gradient of normal, if you call that one m1, then m times m1 is equal to negative 1. That m1 is equal to negative 1 over m, which is negative 1 over 
çıkıyor bak dur. Bir de bir grafik tur ama dur. Grafik tur. So you can get the equation of the ring. So the gradient of this ring is negative 2 over 3. If you take a general point here, x, y, you can also get the equation of that normal. Uh, we will say change in y over change in x is equal to negative 2 over 3, which is a pivot. So change in y is y minus 1 over that other point here. Here you have point x, y, and here you have point 1, 1. So we are going to use two point. x minus 1 is equal to negative 2 over 3. So this is the multiplication 3 into 1 minus 1 is equal to negative 2 into x minus 1. This is 3y minus 3 is equal to negative 2x plus 2. Plus 2. So 3y, take 2x on this side, 2x, take negative 3 on the other side, plus 5. So you can make it like that, or you can put it in the form of y is equal to mx plus c. We have done part A. All that to do part B. Part B will determine the stationary points. So I'm going to remove this. Uh, we are going to determine the stationary point. To see. Determine. The stationary point. Points determine the stationary point of the function uh, function of x is equal to two x cubed minus two x cubed. Otherwise, they have to do that two x cubed two x cubed minus three x squared minus 12 of x plus 6 add state their nature add state their their nature if that is the case I think uh, f of x this is negative 2x cubed and negative 2x cubed. That should be 0. So this is equal to negative 3x squared minus 12x plus 6. I am not sure whether this is a mistake. 2x cubed and negative 2x cubed, that is automatically 0. Negative 3x squared minus 12x plus 6. So I'll work with whatever I am given. In differentiating, if I derivative of f of x with respect to x, which will be negative six x minus twelve. Negative six x minus twelve. But we know at point where where stationary stationary point stationary. Points exist. Come on. Derivative of the function of x with respect to x will be equal to zero. So we can equate negative six x minus twelve is equal to zero, which means uh, negative six x is equal to twelve, which means this is uh, x is equal to negative two. So at a stationary point exists at x is equal to negative 2. What is the nature of that point? Where we have x, we put negative 2. In our second order derivative, so we get the second order derivative of the function with respect to x. Uh, this, if you differentiate this again, 
it will be negative 6 cosine will be negative 6 because the second order derivative is already negative even without substituting the value of x is equal to negative 2 then we say this is a is a maximum is a maximum point So that is it. That's how far we'll go as far as application of differentiation are concerned. Uh, so that now we can discuss differentiation of inverse trigonometric functions. So I believe I've not wasted your time in this video and certainly not in the next video.